Good day to you. Today the Lord's word uh, came to me regarding the covenant we make when we come to church on Sunday. Uh, so yesterday was a Sunday and I felt it was a very good Sunday. Uh, we felt the, 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 the offering that we offered to the Lord, the sacrifice we offered to the Lord as the service had a God, had a God quality, a divine quality and the father was pleased. Uh, so with this thought, I, when I walk, woke up in the morning, I found the Lord uh, saying what a, that we have gathered in the house of the Lord. When we do gather on Sunday to the house of the Lord, the Lord's family, we keep covenant uh, that we do not forsake of assembling together, the saints assembling together. Hebrews 10, 26, and thank God that Sri Lanka is a blessed country that the saints are free to gather into the house of God, into one place. And as we uh, gather, the covenant we make becomes a luminous stepping stone for our week. That's the vision I saw. There was this family and this stepping stone was already laid. It was hexagonal, sufficient for all four to stand. Let's say father, mother, brother, sister, they have agreed together with the God content in their life. They have agreed with the saints in fellowship. The fellowship of the saints happen in their lives and that stepping stone is luminous and it casts a forward line, a forward light uh, for their journey for the whole week. So at every family prayer time, we reaffirm the covenant uh, with the Lord on which we agree and walk together even as a family. And he, as the larger family, once a week we gather into one place always. We don't go church hopping. Preferably in the place you were born, because we believe you are born again to belong again, if possible, lifelong, with a set of saints, with the communion of saints, communion of the Holy Spirit, this is part of the benediction. So many churches have shifted to the power of the Holy Spirit. Of course, the Holy Spirit has power, do not miss. But I like to emphasize the exousia of the belonging, the authority, the privilege. Uh, John 1.12, uh, uh, those who received him, <coughs> excuse me, those who received him and believed in his name, to them the Father gave the privilege, the exousia, authority of becoming children of God. Uh, so maybe not be overwhelmed by power, but by the privilege of this belonging. Uh, so uh, we belong together and uh, we are born again to belong together then we hope we'll be able to help others in the both birth process of coming through to Christ. So this was the covenant we agreed with, with the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. And when we gather on Sunday, we also agree on the great themes of the gospel, that Christ is God, that cross is the only solution for mankind. We agree on it. And the resurrection life of Christ, we agree. And with this agreement and the second coming that we are, we therefore persuade people, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade people to come to Christ, 2 Corinthians 5.10, 5.11, knowing that we have to give, stand before the judgment seat of Christ and give account. We agree on all this. It's on this agreement that we move forward from Monday into the rest of the week. Christian begins a week on Sunday as God's holy day, God's day, also, we gather on Sunday as God's legislature. Uh, so we make decrees, declarations, agreements that Hades shut up in our work field, in our neighborhood, in our city. The influence of Hades shut up over our government. And may the blessing of heaven come. Uh, may gates of heaven open upon our government. May blessing of uh, heaven and gates of heaven open over our work field, over national resources. These are the things we agree when we meet God, meet with God's people as God's legislature, God's government, if you may, God's parliament every Sunday. We do not want to forsake it because we know the power of covenant. And if you don't do that, and if, if you don't allow any defilement, discord, uh, dissonance to come into this agreement. So if there is any uh, disloyalty between husband and wife, 
you break the covenant. That's how you come together and agree on the covenant. Any uncleanness, any betrayal, any infidelity, uh, we don't want to take any chance. We are agreeing on the covenant in the house of God. Then, uh, with, for our children, we agree the best for them is in the house of God. We agree that we do not rob uh, the, our children's life in Christ. We are concentrated on it. That's our first priority. We feel that's a treasure in their life, the favor of God. You remember Christ? increased in stature with man and God and increased in the favor of God. That's how Christ grew. And we want our children to grow in the favor of God. We want their exams, studies, careers to have the favor of God. We want their life partner in the selection process, the favor of God. So we want to be faithful to the favor of God. We come together with one accord, the family in one place, in a high authority, the greater family of Christ. And we know uh, that about that greater family of Christ, there is concord in heaven. And there's, so when we come together on Sunday, we are affirming our family values and our greater family values uh, in Christ. So we, want our ch we don't want the thief to steal our children's time in church with sports practice or tuition. I say this all the time, that Christians need to prioritize church. It'll be a sad, sad thing for you to miss church and do everything else. That may be modern thinking, but that is not God thinking. Yes. So when we recede out of God's house for our convenience and our opinions, we recede out of God's world from influence. That's what happens to the church. When the Christian is not in God's house, he will have no influence as far as God's governance goes in man's world. Yes, so please, on Sunday, keep your God house commitment. So Ephesians 3, 10 and 11. Ephesians 3, 10 and 11. This is how it goes about the wisdom of the church gathering. How God rules the world with the wisdom in the church gathering, the knowledge of God, the work of God, and the friends of God coming together to rule earth with God's wisdom. 3.11, Ephesians 3.11, 3.10. So that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made to the rulers and the authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose which he carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, I interpret these principalities, uh, the authorities, as the godly ones, rulers and authorities as the godly ones, the angels, so angels in governance in territories, nations' territories, get their instruction when the church gathers on Sunday. Of course, church can gather on another day, no doubt, but first, the resurrection day, the, the the, the, the Christ day, when we come together with one accord, two and three gather in the family prayer hall, two, three, or four, 20, 30, or 200, 300 gather together in the Lord's house for the wisdom of God. We proclaim it, we do our intercessions, we do our worship, and we take our covenant on the cross of Christ, we take our covenant to life in the resurrection of Christ, and we might even celebrate with the broken body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the cup of communion. That's why we come together. And the power of coming together, that's, that's a great force on earth. People understood this. So on revival time, they came together even daily. New Testament church came together daily. So why do we violate our weekly commitment to come together? So that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the rulers and the authorities in the heavenly places. So they take instructions and they get into positions. They say, okay, they have agreed together, they have made the covenant this week also. Throughout this week, we must shadow them and we must work for them. And angels do what they have to do in our workplace. Angels do what they have to do in our home. Angels do what they have to do in our neighborhood. Angels do what they have to do in our city. Because they have heard the covenantal agreement and angels go working the works of God. And we also go 
working the works of God in heaven and earth partnership. Then it comes true, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, glory to thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on my patch of earth as it is in heaven. And the angels go do that. That's our daily axiom, daily prayer. That's our daily mandate, daily motto, call it what you like. This is how we live. This is how we overcome. Yes, the manifold wisdom of God. We have agreed in the covenant on Sunday. Today is Monday. So there's a stepping stone uh, illuminated for that week, casting its light where we should go, how we will go. Never give up the Sunday agreement. It has such authority to bless your family, bless your life, and to hold the nation before God. So when assemblies come together, yesterday we did this. Uh, we just thought, uh, we planted the stake and we said, Lord, uh, around uh, the favor of God, the, the Christmas message had the favor of God, glory to God on high, and the God favor, the God favored people holding the peace, prosperity on earth in between the God favored people. So I said, uh, how, draw, a, draw a circle with the radius of half a kilometer. Then I was told that's about 1.8 uh, of a, uh, a square kilometer, that, 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 that circular area. Just imagine a circular area. Of course, you could have done a 1 kilometer, 1 kilometer area, then 1 kilometer scram, uh, 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 square area. Uh, the, the, uh, and in that, I said, how many God-favored people do you think you can hold? By your influence, by your, by your influence you attract. And I said, how, how many, what might be the uh, population be in your area within that square kilometer? Let's say 1,000, 2,000, Sri Lankan cities are pretty crowded. And I said, how many God favored in that 5,000 do you think uh, should be there to hold that square kilometer as a favored area of God? God-blessed area, area where thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. No thief stealing. Even houses of ill fame can't function. Demons can't stay there. Uh, the, the, the alcohol bars will have to shut up. This have happened during revival time. Why? The favored ones increased on earth. This is the covenant of favor we wanted to take in the house of God on a Sunday. God bless you through the day.